Hey baddies, I'm the Bad Enabler and happy Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day weekend, happy Valentine's Day week. That's why I'm wearing red and I am here with a, this is a friend mail Valentine's Day gift and it is also an empties video and I guess some reviews and blah 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 because I finished up a lot more things in a very very little bit of time and yes, um, I had a very 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 sleepy, sleepy 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 day, I just felt like under the weather. So um, I said, let me be productive. So I cleaned the floors, like completely steam cleaned them, peppermint oiled them. It makes me feel good, makes me feel like fresh. And I said, I wanna do this video and I want to do my empties. Um, yeah, so happy Valentine's Day week, everybody. All right, so this is from Cheryl and cool friend, Tony. Um, first thing up is, I didn't open it yet. I mean, this, is all, this is all brand new to me. The first thing up is the, <laughs> it's so cute. This is a very cute card and it's got little puppies on it. So there's a Cupid, a doggy with hearts, a fire hydrant, and that looks like there's a bird. Oh no, it's an arrow. So Cupid, oh, he shot the arrow. Cupid shot the arrow. It says, aim to have yourself a happy Valentine's Day. Cheryl and friend, Tony. Here's some Valentine's Day can candy along with some very early, all right, so I'm not gonna read the rest because I wanna be surprised as I open it up. So, and then I'm gonna read the rest as we go. Aw, happy Valentine's Day napkins. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> That's adorable, oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love Thompson chocolate. I always look for Thompson chocolate, but I can never find it. So apparently this is a company that has distribution in different places and I don't exactly know where. It's called Thompson chocolate and it's delicious. It's always, it seems to always be foil wrapped. Oh my gosh, it smells good. Ugh. I love that candy, love, love, love. Here is a, oh, this got smushed. It's a little, it's a milk chocolate bunny. I don't know how it got so smushed. Hold on. Here's a milk chocolate egg. Ooh. So that must've been some early Easter stuff. Oh my gosh, it's a rabbit. No, is that a rabbit? That's a duck. And it's also from Thompson Chocolate. Oh my gosh, it's a milk chocolate duck. So I guess these are all Thompson chocolates. Oh, that's good and I love them. All right, hold on. Let me put these down over here. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, the chocolate, I see, because it's a little chocolate. So the little chocolate piece got part, got smushed. I will still eat it, believe me. Milk chocolate heart. This is also from Thompson Chocolate. Aw, so cute. Mm, it's a lollipop. Thompson Chocolate. And then there's, and then there's the, the remnant of the, oh, it was, it must've been a bunny. It must have been a bunny, because here's the, I think it's a bunny. Well, I'm still gonna eat it. So, all right, I'm gonna put it in the bag. And the bag was clean, so I have no problem eating that. That was adorable. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. That was very, very sweet. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna read the rest of the card. It says, here's some Valentine's candy along with some very early Easter candy from our favorite place on yours, Thompson Candy, since you enjoyed the little bit we sent you for Christmas. Also, there's some very cute Valentine napkins. The Valentine napkins are very, very cute. I do love Thompson chocolate. There's something, it's very, I usually go for dark chocolate, and this is milk chocolate, but it's like incredibly flavorful. I find that a lot of milk chocolate tastes waxy, and that's not the case with this. Like, the, the Thompson chocolate tastes, it tastes like real genuine what cocoa should be, or cacao should be. So I'm always like, I always flip things over when I'm in stores and I, I'm looking, I'm, I know I'll find it one day, and I'll find Thompson candy. Um, I'm just surprised that it's not at, the places that I frequent. I guess it doesn't have like, it's probably just not at CVS, Dwayne Reed, blah, blah, blah. The place that I go, Target, I go for chocolate. Um, Lilac Chocolate sells their own chocolates. It's a big Brooklyn, New York company. And Hotel Chocolat, which closed down their two locations, which is very upsetting to me. But anyway, um, so thank you, thank you, thank you, Cheryl, for me that was very sweet. And now we have empties. So first empty up is a giant vase candle from Colonial Candle. I. I froze this, turned it upside down, and got the wax out because it was a wild ivy candle, and then I took the labels off. It was a wild ivy candle, and I love the scent of ivy, but as soon as I lit it, it was just sitting and sitting and sitting. So I wasn't happy about that. I turned, I put it in the freezer, I turned it upside down, and the wax came out. So then I was able to take a giant butcher knife, and I chopped it into pieces, and I put it into the warmer. And the scent came out that way, which was lovely, but not how I wanted to do that. Also finished up Black Cherry Merlot. Um, I love this scent so, so, so much as a candle that I wasn't, I wasn't thrilled just waiting. It was very odd. 
Ever enjoy a candle so much that you get impatient and you just want to smell it all at once? So that's what I did with this. I burned it for a while and then I threw it into the warmer and got all the smell out. So, oh, it still smells amazing. It's just, it's like a mixture of dark, like dark, dark, dark cherries. And I mean, I know they want you to think that it's Merlot. It's like a liquored black cherry, if that makes sense. It's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like they took rum from tiramisu and mixed that with black cherry juice. Or if you have, you know, the Palm Wonderful juice that's in the, the stores, it looks like two pomegranates sitting on top of each other. It's when you open up those kind of juices and you just smell the pure, pure cold pressed juice. That's what that smells like. It smells like cold, cold pressed black cherry juice. Very strong. Um, if you don't like cherry, you won't like that candle. I love that though. Oddly, speaking of cherry, I finished up cherry from Lush. This is the lip scrub. It's around $10.95 for a jar. It's 0.8 ounces, but it lasts months. And because you just use, you don't use that much of it. And even though I overuse products, um, it still lasted a very long time. I always repurchase my scrubs, my lip scrubs from Lush. Vitamin E, this is a toner. Uh, I've had this for a while and so I needed to use it. So I actually used it a lot on my arms and on my legs. Just while I was in the shower, I used it as an extra step in the shower. Um, just because I, just because I knew it was going to expire soon. This I recently purchased and I love, and I have a video way, way back in my catalog of the Drops of Youth whole line. I found this at TJ Maxx. I think it was $7.99. They had three of them. I bought three of them and I bought them maybe three weeks ago when I already finished one. I've been using it in the middle of the day if I didn't want to wash my face or take a shower, but I felt like I needed more hydration because it's winter time. I would just use a bunch of it on my face, on my neck, on decolletage. Um, and it just, it sinks in afterwards and it just does a nice job of rehydrating as the day goes along. So if you do need something, it's also great for your skin and evens out your skin tone. And um, you know, who doesn't want even skin tone? So they drops of youth. And it's a really, really good value because at the body shop itself, it's in the 30s at least, that's a full one, one ounce size bottle. Christmas cookie, this was from TJ Maxx. It was 10.99. From Philosophy, it is the shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. I always use it as a shower gel. Loved this. Loved this scent. It, it has that cookie dough fragrance to it, and it's not overly sweet. It's not the sweetest scent they have. It's a little bit muted. I find that their chocolate chip scents and the chocolate scents in general aren't as sweet as they are uh, on the darker side. So I am very much a fan of the Philosophy shower gels. I always make sure I smell them and I never feel bad about picking one up because I know that I use it. So this I'm refilling the bottle of with a giant Philosophy, the caramel, the giant 32 ounce. This was an eight ounce Brazil nut that I finished up from the body shop. This is so old. Um, I love the Brazil nut. This does not smell like Brazil nut anymore because I've been pouring the caramel in here, but I just need to refill it again. But I wanted to show you that I did finish up a Brazil nut body shop shower cream. Love, love, love. This was TheraBreath. Um, I highly recommend TheraBreath for mouthwash. It has slightly different instructions. If you're not sure about this, they sell it in Duane Reed, Walgreens, CVS, and Target, and Amazon. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to use it twice. You're supposed to use it um, like a, say a cap full, I'm, I'm wonky on the directions, I kind of make my own, but they recommend basically use a cap full for like 60 seconds, spit it out, and then use another cap full for 30 seconds, goggle, 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 and spit it out. I don't know if they're asking you to do that because they want you to use more of the product, maybe, but it does have a long, like you can basically smell the good breath if you follow the directions and you do it in, like at night before you go to sleep, don't drink anything else afterwards for 30 minutes, and in the morning when you wake up, if you do that consistently, your breath pretty much smells amazing for the whole entire time. This is like icy mint. Yeah, this is invigorating icy mint. And, oh, smells great. I like it because my I love so much blue in the apartment that this is an added kind of blue thing. So that's always a repurchase for me. I'm incredibly sad to see this go. This is I'm Home from Lush. Luckily, I had another bottle of this. I, there's like this little, see that little, little drip? I will be using that. I'm not throwing this out yet. I'm going to use that uh, today, even before I go to sleep. It makes me very, very happy. It, uh, it smells like 
hugs in wintertime. It is a vanilla, it's, it's a vanilla chocolate homey, it's like a vanilla chocolate fig. It smells sweet and like rapturous. It's just amazing. They don't make it anymore, very, very sad. They make vanillary, which smells great, but I had an allergic reaction to vanillary one time. I tried it twice. One time I had a very bad allergic reaction to it, I got hives. So I'm hesitant. <laughs> so maybe it was just a bad batch that I tried that time. I will try it again because it's the closest thing I can find to I'm home. I love that scent. I'm incredibly sad to see it go. I do have one more bottle of it that I already opened up and started using. After that, it's all done, but that bottle should last me like a year because I don't use that every day, so. Also finished up, Josie Marin. This was the peptide cream. It was more of a, sorry, it's more of a gel. <laughs> Youthful Skin Wrinkle Repair Peptide Moisturizer. This you use, so you use your milk first and then you use your serum and then you use this. Um, but I don't recommend using this and the face butter because sometimes it pills. Sometimes, like you ever put on a moisturizer and it pills off? Uh, it, no. So I use this instead of the face butter sometimes because I'm actually running out of face butter. As many face butters as I've purchased from Josie Marin, I believe that I'm on my last one right now. I could be wrong. I have to go through my inventory and see what's up with that, but I do love the peptide. Finished up my second, because I bought, I bought three of them, OCD. Vitamin E eye cream. I love, 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 love this. I've used this since I was 21, 20, 21. I've used it since, since my early, early, early 20s, maybe even younger. And it's still the same exact, same exact everything. Nothing has changed but time. And, <coughs> excuse me, I will keep buying this. Even though I tried to just keep using the Josie, I found that I, 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 it's hard to break from this. Someone said a long time ago that I'm a ride or die for the body shop. And that's apparently very true because I, as much as I think that I'm transitioning out and going towards Josie Marin, I still wind up going back to the body shop for certain items, so. Speaking of Josie, oh, how I love, which one was this? Oh, this is Winterberry. Okay, I'm okay seeing this go. I loved it, don't get me wrong, but. It has a winter, so the nice thing about this is that it has a wintry scent to it. So the berries, it was, it was as if they were holly berries. So it had to be holly berries with some kind of a pine or a fir needle scent. And then what I would do is I would put the cologne that's called Fresh As on top of this and it smelled amazing. And this is one of the only, aside from Unscented, this is one of the only body butters that Fresh As would go along with because Fresh As is also a wintry scent. So a lot of other things, they collide in terms of scents. This did not. This was 19 ounces. This is a giant jar. And so because most of her regular sizes are eight ounces, that's her standard size. So she does a two ounce, a four ounce, which are usually in the little sample packs. Two ounce, four ounce, eight ounce, this is 19. And then once in a while she does, the one with the pump was 20, and then the giant one was 24. She hasn't done that in a while, but sad to see a 19 ounce go. I'm working on a bunch of other Josies right now. We will see how those go. But that seems to be everything for the empties. I always, always, always forget something. I don't think that I did this time. I don't think that I did forget something, but only time will tell. Usually it's right when the video ends, and I'm like, I can't believe I forgot that. So, that being said, my favorite item of the, ooh, my favorite item of the month, oh gosh, not the month, because I do these I mean, these videos more than once a month, is I'm Home. I love this. This was, this is going to make me sad to see, like, thank for least only one bottle left, but it's always sad to see one go. So that was my favorite, is I'm Home from Lush. I love Lush. I love their scents. They're ridiculous. So anyway, I need to try the moisturizers more. Thank you so much for all of the Thompson chocolate. Thank you, Cheryl and Tony. This is so sweet. This is so sweet, so sweet, so sweet. Um, well, have a good Valentine's Day, everybody. And that's why I have the red on and um, just very peaceful and relaxed. And yeah, we will see how, I don't know, what's the next holiday? So Valentine's Day and then Easter. Yeah, because there's some Easter candy there. So yay, Easter. Let me know how you all are doing and how your Valentine's Day goes. Hopefully it's full of warmth and love and happiness and friends and um, X's and O's. So it's, it's our holiday. It's our XOXOXO holiday. All right. I will see you all soon in another video. Uh, Bad Enabler on Instagram. And then if you want Rakuten while you're shopping online, if you're shopping for QVC or the Body Shop, actually, I think sometimes Target. 
There's a link in the description box and it's for Rakuten to get you a percentage back of your purchases. So I think they just sent the big fat check, by the way, um, which is, I don't know, I think it's like $20 or something, like $25. But that's a decent amount to just get back, to buy something with it, to buy a bite of butter or some mouthwash. So, XOXOXOXO, see you soon, XOXO.